Hi everybody and welcome to STEAM Challenges. My name is Michaela and I work at the St. Albert Public Library and you can usually find me up at the Jensen Lakes location. I'm so excited that you've joined us today because we are going to be doing a really, really cool project. Today, we are going to be making Lego mazes. Now the way that these mazes work is you just need to take a marble um, and when you start it in the maze there, you can tip the maze all different ways so that the marble runs through and gets to the finish line. So to make this project, you only need three things. You're going to need some Lego or Duplo. I have some right here. You're going to need a Lego base and you're going to need a little marble or a bouncy ball. Okay, so let's get started. So to make your Lego maze, there are five steps to follow. And the first step is I'm going to stick my two Lego bases together. Now I have two here and I want to put them together to give myself a bigger maze. And to do that, I'm going to take these really long pieces and I'm going to put one on either side. So I'll stick this yellow one down here and I'll take this other yellow one here to put over here. There we go. So now I have one piece of Lego base. Now step number two is going to be to determine where the start and the finish line are. To mark this, I'm going to take two blue pieces for the start and I'm going to put them right over here. And then for the finish line, I'm going to take two, I think I'm going to take two green ones here and I'm going to put them right over here. So now if we hold this up like this, we have a start over here and a finish over here. Now when you're making your start and finish line, don't forget to leave some space in between your Lego blocks here. Um, and that's gonna let your marble roll through. You may have to measure to figure out how much space your, uh, your marble needs on your Lego block, um, but I know that mine is one Lego row. So that's how much space I'm gonna leave in between all of my blocks. Okay, so the next step is we need to fill in the outside of this Lego square. And to do that, I'm gonna use all of these yellow pieces so that I know that the green and the blue spots are the start and the finish. So let's see if I have enough yellow ones. Okay, there we go. So now that I have got my uh, outside all covered in yellow, we can start with the fun part. We need to make our path from the start to the finish line. And to do this, we're gonna use blocks of all different colors so that um, nobody knows which path is the right one. And to do this, I'm going to be leaving one Lego row. Like I mentioned earlier, that's how big my marble is, but you'll have to measure your own maze to figure out how much space to leave for your marble. Okay, so let's get started here. So now I've got my path done. It's gonna go this way and that way and that way, just like that. Now the next step, once you have your path done, it's time to add some dead ends. And the best way to do that is just to add some really little blocks into different corners and stuff so that people can't go that way. So I've added one yellow block right here. And now you can see if someone tries to turn that way, it's not going to go anywhere. So I'm just going to add a couple of those. Perfect. So now I have a couple of dead ends. You can see if somebody tries to turn this way, it's not going to go anywhere. And there's another dead end right over here in this corner. So there's lots of things that could trick people into going the wrong way. Okay, so now that we have finished our maze, it's time to test it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my marble and I'm going to put it right there in the start zone. And then I'm just going to start tipping my maze all the different ways to see if I can get it to come out the finish. And it worked! Awesome job everybody! So once you've done your first maze, there's lots of different ways that you can make this much more challenging. You can try and make your maze bigger if you have more Lego base pieces, or if you're feeling really creative, you could try and make it 3D with slides and ladders that make it go up and down. I'd love to see what you've created, so feel free to tag us on social media and post a picture. Well, if you enjoyed this challenge today, um, I hope you check out some of the great books that we have at the library all about mazes. One of my favorites is called Labyrinth. Find Your Way Through 14 Magical Mazes, and it's by Tail Brunyald. And it has some really, really beautiful illustrations and some really interesting mazes to look at. 
You can also check out our summer reading game, which starts on June 29th. It's called Escape the Labyrinth, and it's going to be a lot of fun this year. And you can go to our website for more information about that. Thank you all so much for joining us for our STEAM challenge today. I hope you had lots of fun and I can't wait to see what you create. And don't forget to follow us on social media for more information about our upcoming programs and events. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and we're always posting lots of cool stuff that the library is doing. So I will see you guys later and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye everybody.